This week, we had a tremendous amount of rain. Sunday evening is about an inch and a half of rain. Then I had a little more sprinkles on Monday. Tuesday, when we were, I, I helped with the voting here in our precinct, and it rained a little bit that day. Wednesday, I was busy that day, and I noticed it rained when I got out of bed that morning, and it rained a light rain most of the morning. That afternoon, when I left, and I went down the, the township road here, and I'm thinking, the blader was by, but surely they couldn't create that much dust. So I'm looking, and I try to take a picture of it, and there's no way that the picture can even grasp anywhere near what this dust was. So the first thing I'm thinking about was my mother. She lived during the dirty 30s. She was 14 years old when her mother passed away. So she was, had the responsibility of six younger siblings to take care of. Her father worked, I think, for the WPA or, or one of those organizations then. And she said, Carolyn, there were days when he would let the horse bring him home on the wagon because he could not see to come. Her youngest brother was only 11 months old, but he told me a few years before he passed away, he said he remembered Ruth running to the windows with wet rags and towels to put on the windows so they could keep the dirt out of the house. It was that, and it would be dark at times during the middle of the day. So as I'm driving down there, all of these things that she's talking to me I come back and I'm thinking, how can this, number one, how can we have dust right after this much rain? This makes no sense. It made no sense. But as I'm going down and I take another township road and there's more, there's more. So I kind of watched it the rest of the afternoon and the evening and it continued. And then yesterday, I don't tend to raise my body out of bed very early in the morning, but when I did, the first thing I did was look out to the southwest there, and it was nonstop dust blowing all day long. And I think the only reason that I was protected from it was that, that grove of trees to the west of me. So it made me concerned, but what do you do? And what do you say? All I know is I have my memories of what my mom was telling me about, and it was not fun. I couldn't imagine these kids, you know, no electricity, no running water, you know, and trying to take care of themselves in, in, during the day. They would have to, she said, there were times when they would light the gas lanterns during the day just so they could see in the house. It was that dense. The fence posts back in those days, they said, were covered with dirt, as high as the fence post. Now that's a lot of topsoil. So I hope the world pays attention. I hope this isn't, that it can't repeat itself. That would be the ideal, is that it won't repeat itself, because I don't think we'd, we want to face that at all. I always tease people, I say, well, Minnesota, that's why their cropland was always so good, because they got ours. <laughs> but anyway, you gotta be able to smile through some of it, because that, that is a real concern, what everybody was looking at yesterday for me.